Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. In this lesson we are going to add some additional information into this section of the second page, the, the mitigation analysis page. So to first of all explain what's going to be here, I'm just going to switch across to the presentation. Okay, so this is the table we want to display. We want to display the risk ranking. So that is going to be 20, 16, 15, 12, etc, etc, 10, etc, etc. And next to each one of these, we want to show the work order count pre-risk mitigation, then the work order count post-mitigation, and then we want to show the difference. So for risk ranking 20 with 4 at the start, we put some mitigation in place, we went down to 1. The difference is 3 as a number, and the difference in terms of percentage is minus 75%. So that's the type of thing that we want. Now, there's a couple of issues that we need to, well, there's not, not really some issues, but just a little bit more thinking involved in this one here. So with the previous example, the risk matrix, and just to simplify it, all I've done here is I've created a table um, that represents this data. This risk number here, so 20, there's four, we can see that's there. Remember this number here is the multiplication of the likelihood and the severity. So 20 is this one here, or it could be this one here, which has got zero in it. So there's four, um, there's one sitting at 16, et cetera, et cetera. So it's really easy to just add this in. The aggregation in the table and on the visualization is done for each of these numbers here for pre-mitigation. Now, because we've got a separate table, the same thing is this is um, happens for the post-mitigation. We're just aggregating the numbers by the risk ranking post mitigation, which is another value in the row or in the record. So that's fine, there's no problems there. However, when we come into doing it this way, I just go to that star there or that cross because that was only supposed to come in once we um, discounted this way. So I'll explain why we can't do it this way. So if you just had a table and you just added in the risk ranking pre mitigation, the risk ranking post mitigation, and the count then what we're going to get is we're going to get this count here or well, we're just not going to be able to do it because the aggregation is going to be carried out for the work order count for every record which has got a risk rank and pre-mitigation of 20, a post-mitigation of, of 4 and we've only got one of those. Okay, so in, in every instance for these we've only got one of each of these and that's why this work order count is showing that example. So. One record went from 20 to 4, one went from 20 to 6, one went from 20 to 8, etc, etc. Then we get down here, now we've, we've got two records that went from 15 to 2, and we've got three that went from 15 to 3, um, two that went from 15 to 4, etc, etc. So this is not what we want. And here's our cross. So I'm going to explain what we do need. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to actually create a separate table and that table's sole purpose is going to be to act as a, a list of the risk ranking numbers. Okay, so that's all this table is going to do. It's going to act as a, a, an independent list of numbers between 25 right through to 1. And they're going to be, and it's going to be populated with the risk ranking numbers. Now then we're going to create a relationship, or two relationships we're going to create. A, a first, the first relationship is going to be the kind of active relationship and it's going to be between this risk ranking number here and this risk ranking post mitigation because that's the one we're going to use the most so that's probably the best one to use for um, for, for being active. We're also going to add in a relationship between this independent list of risk ranking numbers and the risk ranking number pre mitigation and we can see it's got a dotted line because that relationship is not actually active. However, as I mentioned here, but you can activate that relationship within a measure. And that's what we're going to do to be able to count the number of work orders that are pre and post mitigation. We're going to use this two relationships and use this one as it stands for normal aggregation and use this one during, through a measure to activate it just within that measure. So it's one of these things, once you see it, it makes a bit more sense. So let's dip into Power BI and we'll start to go and create this relationships and tables. Okay, so we're back in Power BI. So th th the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create this independent table. And that table there is going to contain these values here. So you could go and get data from Excel and pull these in. 
However, if it's something that's a fairly static list of values, rather than have a table somewhere, it might get deleted or might get um, moved. You can actually go and enter data directly into Power BI using this enter data option up here. And it's going to present us with a, an option to enter a table. And I only recommend this for static values and where there's not a lot of them. Um, but we can just copy and paste into here. Um, we can see, okay, it's copied into the headers, so let's undo headers. And let's call this risk ranking. And we can see we've got our numbers. So these are the possible numbers when you multiply the likelihood and the severity, and that's what we need. And we're going to call this risk ranking. And we're just going to go and load that in. I'm pretty sure Power BI is going to notice their... Um, they're going to be loaded in as numbers, hopefully. Okay, so here we have it. We've got a table across here with this value here. We don't want to sum it, so let's just save that, change that category there. So that means that as a default, it won't be summarized because it makes it just makes things a little bit more awkward sometimes. Right, so perfect, we've got that. So next, let's go in now and create the relationships. So we need to go and start now creating relationships between this risk ranking number and the risk ranking numbers in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a permanent relationship between the risk ranking number in the in this table and the post mitigation. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because the risk ranking post mitigation is the one which we're going to use most most frequently. So. That'll be the standard one we're going to use throughout the report because that's the one we're interested in. What is the current or the post mitigation risk? Um, and it means we don't need to create a relationship each time we actually want to display that uh, that count of work orders in a report. Then we're going to create one against the pre mitigation risk ranking, which is this one here. Now we use that less frequently and we are therefore going to go and use that as an inactive relationship. And if you just double click on here, you'll see that this relationship is inactive. And I, if I try and make that active, it's going to tell me that a relationship already exists between these tables. So it's going to basically get Power BI confused about which relationship you want to call whenever you're aggregating work order numbers um, through this um, risk ranking table. So let's cancel that. And that is us for the creation of the relationship and the setup with this. Okay, let's start building the table. So we're going to add a table. And we're going to use as the, the common access to the table, we'll say for want of a better word, but the, the most left-hand column, we're going to use this independent risk ranking number here. Okay, so we'll sort it from top to bottom. And we can see that is purely just now showing us a list of all the values in that table that we added in. Next, we're going to go and add, we want to add the pre then the post, but we'll add the post mitigation because that's the easy one just now. And that's simply just the count of the number of work orders. Now, because we've got a permanent relationship or an active relationship between this table here or the risk ranking table, let's go back and look, this here, Along this line here, it's looking for post mitigation and it's going to count the number of work orders related to this post mitigation group. It's going to aggregate that. Okay, so that's what's happening here. We've got this, this relationship in place. Now, if I want to now see the pre mitigation, I need to go and create a measure. So let's go and create that measure. So I just need to go up here, new measure. And I'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And then I'm just going to, oh, still got the numbers from before. Okay, so here is the, the, the ducks we're going to use. So we've got to use calculate because we need to change the filter context. And we're going to count the number of rows in the work order table. And what we're going to do with calculate is we're going to do that. This is a calculate modifier. We're going to do that using the relationship between risk ranking in our table and the work order risk ranking pre mitigation. Okay, so we're going to in, we're going to activate within the confines of this measure just while we're calculating this figure. We're going to tell Power BI to go and use that relationship 
to go and aggregate each one of the values against each of the um, each of these. Well, that's going to want to accept that first of all. So it's going to aggregate the value for each one of these, but it's going for this measure. It's going to use. It's going to activate this relationship. So it's going to travel down here and it's going to count the number of the work orders in this row, in the table, which have got a risk ranking for 20, uh, 25, 20, 16, 15, all of the different permutations there. OK, so that's how we're going to use this. So now we've got it, let's pull it into our, our table here. And oh, here's it up here. So let's move that location. So you can move the location into work orders. Just using this home table option here. And let's pull that in here. Right. And this should be where the magic happens. Right. OK, so what we can see, though, is that the numbers are huge. So we just need to do a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to just tidy up the, the actual um, descriptions here. So we're going to call this pre and we're going to call this post. Okay, pre and post. And then in here we need to make sure that we're only showing the values for the current week. So we're going to go into our filters and we're going to scroll to the bottom and we're going to add in for this visualization only, we're going to add in a filter on week, year week, top end top one, year week by year week. So it's basically saying I want to display the top one of these by year week. And we want to basically start with the latest value, latest week value. OK, now it's going to be right. So let's just check this out. So we've got the risk ranking number here. Then and you, you could, if you wanted to, go in here and display, show items with no data. And that would just let you kind of confirm that there are none for 25. So that's going to be useful. So we'll leave that activated, actually. And then, so that was just to go in here and just activate this show items with no data. Uh, so we can see it started pre was 4 at risk rank of 20. And then it went to 1. Uh, if we look at 15, it started off at... 19 because with this one here and this one up at the top here because that is 3 times 5 and that is 5 times 3 so 19 was the number pre-mitigation and now we've got 1 because there's not any in those ones here so we can see that's now building up a picture of the pre and the post-mitigation all in one table so we don't want to have two tables for this we could have done it side by side but when we've got enough we've got enough percentage differences and number differences, etc, etc. So we just want to keep it in one table. OK, so that's how we are going to do build out this table. In the next lesson, we're going to add the differences, the percentage change, and we will start to um, format this table, make it look a bit prettier. I'll talk to you then.